Hello and welcome back to Darning Gluten. This week I'm going to show you how to make some coconut snowballs. Well, they're actually called coconut macaroons, but there's no fun in just calling them that. So, <laughs> um, anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Now that's it, let's get cooking. The ingredients you'll need are one cup of shredded coconut, one tablespoon of clear honey, one teaspoon of coconut oil, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a tablespoon of quinoa flour, one teaspoon of milk, one fresh egg white, a pinch of salt, and half a tablespoon of caster sugar. Start by mixing the coconut, the honey, the coconut oil, the vanilla extract, the quinoa flour, and the milk in a mixing bowl. Mix well until all the ingredients are combined and you don't have any clumps left. Next, place your egg whites in a very clean bowl. You can rub some lemon juice on the sides of the bowl to make sure there isn't any grease that would hinder the next step. Add a pinch of salt, then whisk the egg. I like to start by lightly whisking it by hand first because my whisk only has one setting and that's a bit fast. So whisk the eggs until soft peaks form, then gently add the sugar down one side of the bowl and continue whisking until you get stiff peaks. Now fold the coconut mixture you prepared before into the egg white. Be careful not to knock out all the air or you'll just be left with a gloopy mess. Spoon little balls of about a tablespoon of the mix onto a lined oven tray. You can carefully shape them with your fingers, but again, be careful not to knock them flat. And then place in the bottom half of an oven that has been preheated to 120 degrees for about 20 minutes. Then move them to the middle of the oven and turn the heat up to 150 degrees and let them bake for another five to 10 minutes or until they turn golden. And that's all you have to do to prepare these delicious coconut snowballs that are crunchy on the outside and soft and chewy in the middle. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time. Bye.